Greetings, viewers, and welcome back. Here we are where we left off. So I'm just now coming back. I've recorded all the other episodes in succession, and it occurred to me that we didn't get an airdrop, and it's day five, so I checked the settings, and for some reason they were turned off, even though it was on when I loaded the game. So hopefully that's corrected itself. The horde is two days away. It's early in the day. We should probably start working on heading towards this new trader, seeing if we can loot some uh, goodies along the way and find out what other trouble we can get into. So let's stop talking and do it. Nope. Speak of the devil. Look at that. Hopefully that's in the direction that we need to go. Probably not. Let's go ahead and mark that just in case we uh, don't get it for some reason. And uh, I guess we're going to bike through the uh, cold biome. All right, let's see what kind of loot we can get. I'm actually hoping for uh, another one of those stack of 500 building blocks. That would be astronomically helpful at this point. Hey, look at that. It's wood, but that's definitely helpful. Hell yeah, brother. All right, now we're even uh, further away from our mission than we were, so let's head over that way. All right, we found Grumpy Pants number two. There's a little military base across the street here. Um, let's go ahead and search this compound while we're here. We can find something good. Got a workbench schematic, and I thought about it. I had those two wrenches that I sold. I should have kept one to build a workbench with, but again, getting ahead of myself, getting too excited, pushing buttons, and I just end up screwing myself over. So we'll have to recover from that. I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. We went how long in the last series without a workbench? Grab this ammo crate and then we'll go down in the well. Alright. Ammo's ammo, right? I lied, there's trash down here. Ooh, and pink dye, my favorite. Hey, look at that chemistry station. Getting there. In order to craft a uh, workbench at this point, we're going to need two hammers of sort because I'd like to have one to actually build with and get rid of this piece of shit stone axe now that we have a fire axe and a legit pickaxe. Thanks to my need to loot everything. Oh, look at that. This might push us over to the next level. Looking for something special? Well, you did uh, okay. So I suppose you want to be paid. So we've already got our th level three axe, so we'll get rid of that one. Oh, we could have repaired that armor. We got our level three knife, so we can sell the level two. We can oh, he doesn't want to die. It's lame. Buy his animal fat, though. We're going to sell that, because probably not going to be having any motor tools anytime soon. Probably gonna be it. 
Now we're still carrying the stupid hatch. Tempered blade. Make our knives last a little bit longer. Oh, look at that. A level four pistol. Pistol Pete. Nine millimeter weapons degrade slower. That's definitely a good one. Any anything in this book series is definitely gonna be good for us, because we were gonna primarily be using handguns this go round. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and buy this. That's just already gonna be useful so itself. So now our little beretta should last longer. Um, I don't know that I want to get a job from him. I'd like to get a tier two job from Wrecked simply because he was sending us all over the place because I don't think there was a lot of tier one jobs nearby or tier one POIs. So if we do tier two, then perhaps we'll be a little bit closer to him, which is closer to home, which means we can kind of stay close and keep our resources together and not have storage boxes spread out all over the wasteland. Hey, what's up, kid? Want to see my level three knife? Did you see it? Are you, are you? Uh, I didn't do that. He was like that when I got here. I think it's uh, roofies or something. So we did get a skill point from that. This guy's coming over to bother us. Can't put anything else in flurry of blows. Dude, dudes, I'm trying to do something here. Excuse you. Anywho, so back to our skill tree. We could put another point in here. We are wearing some light armor already, so we'll lose our stamina penalty and the durability will be improved for anything we craft. We want to make better armor. Also, we have this. So once we start relying on the nine mil more, I think that's when we'll put more points into that. This one... We will probably want actually before the horde comes for sure. So any more damage we deal with it, we'll get rid of the zombies faster, waste less ammo. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, eliminating these guys as quick as possible. We now have a stack of 116 9 mil rounds, so that's definitely good. I'm curious if any of these trailers are going to have a cooking pot. They all have mailboxes. Let's check those at least. course two of the books we've already got there we go knocking down targets all right take it it's at least three books towards the set completion just go ahead and read this why not it's always good to know how to sew guys and gals It's funny, when I lived in the barracks and I bought a sewing machine everybody made fun of me and they were like ooh that's gay uh, ha, ha. And next time we had uniform inspections coming, guess how many people came to me asking me to sew patches on their uniform? Guess who paid double the price the exchange was charging? Hey, what's up, dude? You got a cooking pot? No? How about a good book? And you're not being very neighborly. Got some good toilet water, though. Mmm. Wrench. Oh, take some Elmer's glue, though. Uh, definitely take some nails and that shit. Coffee's good. Can't resist looting some trash. Remember that time I found an M60 schematic? Um, hmm. Let's do that. Do that. I don't know how reliant we are going to be on farm. Get rid of some claw. Actually, you know what? Uh, can we grab that? Let me grab that two of cloth.
Damn it. All right, give me just a second here. I don't know why you can't repair it while you're wearing it. Might as well use that cloth for something good while we have it. We'll take our coal back. Thanks. Can we get a cooking pot now? The only thing that could be uh, bad for us here would be a dog. So I guess we can keep this out until we know that there's not one. And then just switch to knife. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's big mamma jamma. what kind of damage we can before she uh, eats that door for lunch. Like it's a fucking lunchable. There you go. Sorry, excuse me, pardon me. Just, you know, here to steal your shit. with you people hiding bones in your cabinets. Get our stockpile of coal built up since we're actually using wood now, which I don't normally do, but I have any coal. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Let's move the bike up. Check the rest of these trailers. I know... Oh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I know there's got to be a dog in at least one of these. Go ahead and growl, bitch. Fuck, and he got a bite on us. Son of a bitch. And the gunshots, I'm sure, attracted some attention. Hopefully that's the only dog in this trailer park. So, oh, yep, here come our friends. Let's get outside so we're not, uh... Pinned in there if there's multiples. Hey, it's Mr. Dwayne, the rock zombie. Whoops. That was, that was bad. All right. I am 100% convinced that they uh, purposely wobble like that to throw off any form of headshots. Why do they keep just dropping? Oh, they're bleeding. That's what it is. I forgot my uh, knives do more bleeding attacks. So they are bleeding out. Let's eat some of this burnt ass well done steak. What's like past well done? Is it you just order it burnt AF? Is that what you kids do? I used to eat my steaks well done just because I wasn't a fan of the uh, texture of still pink meat in the middle. But then I got tired of uh, chewing shoe leather and I can appreciate it a little bit. There's a difference between, you know, medium rare and sear it and serve it. Here to inspect your stove. That's why I stabbed it. I wasn't trying to stab you, sir. All right, well, thanks for your cooperation. Ooh, look at that loot box. Don't mind if I do. It's the uh, chest armor that we're wearing. Is it level two? It's level three. Even. How about that? It is heavy armor. Which we do not get bonuses for. But if we're gonna wear heavy armor, we might as well go all out and wear the best that we can get, right? The best a survivor can get. I'll take that, I'll leave the plastic parts. We'll accumulate enough of those over time that uh I don't think that's gonna make or break us. Need to fill up these jars that we've got. 
somewhere. About to officially be out of space here. Hello? I know you're in here, motherfuckers. There's actually nobody in this trailer? Wow. All right, cool. Hello, thank you. Some nice refreshing water. Oh, cooking pot. Hell yeah, brother. The fuck out of here, plant fiber. Actually, we need a cooking grill this go round. <laughs> we don't have the boiled meat recipe. We have the grilled meat recipe. Which I will not complain. If I'm not mistaken, grilled meat is better than boiled meat. But the boiled meat is just better than that charred ass shit. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, no. it's taken a while. Cloth. We're gonna end up needing gas, so we might as well grab that. Do that. Some stuff in the queue. Got in here. Who wants to play fuck around and find out? While I twirl my knife and stab you in the melon. Uh, could stop melting into the floor and get up, but that's cool. Do what you gotta do. We're definitely not drinking a beer. We ain't throwing hands this time. Hey, cooking grill. Fuck yes, brother. Ah. Uh. Damn it, brass. That. Alright, we can make some grilled meat now. So I throw some coffee on the floor so you give me more. Can't resist checking the toilet for a pistol. Even though we have one. But worst case, we can sell it. Hey, look at that. Man. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the sand. Take that. Uh... Let's go back towards the house now that we've kind of accomplished a little bit here. We found two good upgrades for our cooking uh, station. Just kind of see what's in this town here. Oh, look, not much else. This map seems uh, very concentrated in small areas and then just wide open. While I was riding to go get the supply drop through the winter biome, there was absolutely nothing. It was just wide open trees here and there. There was nothing, no POIs, anything. I kind of like the Navis game map because of the way it's set up. Just simply because, you know, as you're driving down a road, yeah, there may not be a whole town, but there's at least a house or a business that, you know, then you can kind of see something up ahead and get to that. And it's not just nothing as far as the eye can see. Like right now, looking around, there's just trees and rocks and grass all over here. And then this road connects to a town where there's just buildings on top of buildings on top of buildings. And then back to nothing again. You get off easy, bunny. I don't need anything from you. Let's sell some of this shit we got to wreck and see what kind of tier two mission he's got for us. Let me guess, you need to buy something. Let's go ahead and use that. Might as well make the use make the most use out of whatever we can to get cash right now. He doesn't want to die either. Um I feel like we ended up with such an abundance of brass. It only sells for 79 for the whole stack. Seems useless. Might as well hold on to that. We'll look at what he has again. I know that... I don't remember there being anything that exciting. And you guys are probably tired of me doing that, but... If I've left the game and it's been a day or two and I come back, I'm obviously not going to remember what he had last time. So, we've not made use of one of these because of the height that we have on our base now. I would like to incorporate one of these somehow. 
I think we unlocked the schematic to build one or maybe we sold that schematic, but that's a little pricey to pay for this. I would like to at some point put one in there and just have it launch those guys off of uh, our tower. All right. That's a little expensive. I would like to buy this. Worst case, we have it on hand to use. I can get rid of this stone axe. And then if we find a better one, we can use this to make a workbench. And then we're just looking for a wrench, which I would, again, like to purchase this one if I could. He restocks on day seven. Look, another Pistol Pete book. Um, not so concerned about that until we can actually start cranking stuff out. Also, I realize we sold some robotic parts that we probably shouldn't have just in the event that we ever are able to make another drone or so we can make our own sledge turret. Uh, forged iron, probably not. Let's see what kind of mission he has. I would like to get that hammer, um, or hammer, the wrench if possible, but that is a significant chunk of money. All that damn gawking at goods and that's all you buy? Shut the fuck up. Well. Body shop. Hey, maybe there'll be tools there. Well, damn, this is a pretty big POI for just a tier two shit. I think they have blinker fluid here. All right, so we don't have a whole lot of space for loot from this place. We probably should have went back to the house first. Let's uh, see what we can get done here. Hello? We just need the supplies. We can't always just get the supplies, go turn them in, and come back and loot later. That is a possibility. Uh, the fuck you say? How do they think that was going to work? Let's, uh, let's mark this place on our map real quick. We'll do that. Let's go turn this back in. We'll go home, drop off loot, and then we'll come back here. What do you want? Congratulations. Hey. Oh, look at that. There's another hammer. Excellent. So we have that. For us, we can use this for a workbench. Now we just need that other wrench. We'll take that. And we'll take the rest of this shit home. And I'll meet you back at the uh, auto store. All right, we're back. I just noticed there's a very large savage country over there. This town's actually pretty neat. It's got a uh, lot of POIs, a lot of that I don't recognize as well. So that's good because I would like to do stuff that I have not done before. Which is not going to include not stealthily killing guys. I mean, come on. Hey, look at that. A duster. That'll help against the heat. That's cool. Cool. That's going to be crap. Don't even try and sell that, probably. I have never done this POI that we're doing now, which is why I was inclined to come back. I mean, obvious for the obvious reason, other than the loot. I mean, that was a guaranteed. Come on. You're not laying down behind the car.
I know y'all are in here. What? They've got to all be up top. There's no way that there's not a single zombie down here. I'm calling bullshit on that one. Mm-hmm. Do not want to get surrounded. I don't know how many there are. I don't know where they are. And you're bleeding out. It's actually a pretty good ability to have. Because while you're recovering stamina, they're still taking damage, so that's kind of nice. Oh, look at that sneaky bonus. 6x. I almost got him before he woke up. Terrible place to die. Especially with your mouth wide open like that. Come on, dude. Free wrench? No. We don't want to have to buy a level 4 wrench. And chances are we're probably not going to get that much cash before the day's over anyway. Maybe not even before day 7, but we'll see. Tell me they didn't hide anything up here. Just got one. I can deal with one. What the hell's the loot up on the roof? And that power attack stuns the hell out of him. And he bled out again. Digging this bleed out damage. And the knife is a little close range. Probably for my liking. It's kind of like the knuckles, but we're doing something new. Getting out of our comfort zone a little bit, which is nice. Getting to see different skills. Instead of always putting points into the same exact thing. Alright, where the hell's the loot? Oh yeah. Definitely on the roof. Hey, there's a shotgun. And we just put all of our shotgun ammo in the uh in storage, but we at least have it. I'm not really too keen on that. Shotgun. Am I missing it? There we go. Put that there. We don't have any ammo, but when we do, we'll at least have one shot. Oh, okay. Yep. There we go. Damn. Guess we were moving quick enough on that one he couldn't get us. Somebody's going to rain down on our head here. Take that damage over time from bleed, buddy. Oh, you little fucker. Get some steam in the back. You want me to surgically remove that eyeball that's dangling out? It looks like it might get infected. No? Alright. Alright. Free XP. Almost gonna level up. Let's see what kind of goodies they left us here. All right. Really planning on keeping that stuff. We're not going to be making steel arrows anytime soon. Hey, level four bone knife. That would have been handy a little bit ago. Sledgehammer. Timer relay. Um, since we are kind of... I, mean, I wouldn't necessarily say a stealth build, but we have some stealth elements. Definitely not playing the stealthiest... Does that not go on that? 
Does it go on clothing? Oh. Oh. Can't put it on there because we got the cooling mesh. Can put it on this one. Let's do that. Why are they being stingy with what you can put on the boots? Can't put that on the legs either. What the hell is going on? Right now, I'd rather have this than the noise cancellation. We can put that on something else, but I don't know. All right, well, this place is officially looted. Let's try not to break our legs. It's getting a little late. We can't go back to the trader now, so let's see what we can find here. I wouldn't mind finishing looting that bookstore. Because all we had left to do was the roof. It's right here. This is not the same bookstore. So we'll just do this one instead. Wake up, motherfuckers. Let's take this outside. Don't be breaking any book stacks on your way out either, bitches. I saw the little blood splatter kind of pop off of him. I guess that's the uh, sign that you know they're bleeding. Hey, look at that, a level up. So these are maxed, capped out right now because of agility. Can do this. I don't have a workbench yet, so I don't know how helpful that's going to be. This is going to let us do more sneak attack damage, so I think we go with that. You look like a loot bag for a second. Oh. Craft some more arrows. Let's see what we can find in here besides paper. Registers are borked. Hey, that's always a good one. I always manage to find it. Fairly early, too. Figure that would be a uh, later game schematic, but I guess they also figure you can't really probably craft it right away because you don't have all the materials. Bows degrade slower. Yes, please. Man, we're just zooming through. I think that's the fourth book we have in the series now. Night time. Officially. Here's somebody sleeping. Let's take that. Scrap that. Extra sneak damage. Um, how did he not wake up when we were jumping around on the counter? Here, how about some bleed damage, guy? How about some decapitation? Damn, don't you have any manners? Kids these days, I swear. Push a grown-ass adult out of the way. Shit. Smacked us pretty good there. What are you doing? Bleeding, that's what you're doing, bitch. Is that bleed damage? Maybe next time you'll learn some manners.
That's what he gets for pushing Mo out of the way. I'm all shuffling around out there. Somebody's beating the hell out of something. We already know how to make a crossbow. Guess that falls in line with the bow crafting. Sounds like there's quite a few out there. This could get spicy. That sounds like a lot. Not want to be trapped inside with that. Oh look, there's a bear. Let's just get the fuck out of here. It's too uh, too early game for this, you know. All right, here's the actual bookstore that I thought we were going to or trying to get to. It's got the car smashed into it. So again, we have already looted this place. Let's see if we can do that. We've already cleared out the bottom floor. I don't think everything's anything should be respawned yet. We didn't. That's right. We never got them to drop out of the ceiling. It's fine. We can deal with that. Oh, is that a crispy dude? No, that's the rock. Oh shit! Kids pissed. Rock's pissed. Make me waste stamina now. Let's get some stamina back. Okay. Went back up too far. There's a crawler back there somewhere. Stab Mo in his good eye, and he can't see us. Brains. Uh, couple more creepers. So where'd that second rock go that was beaten on the outside? Didn't one drop down? Oh, look, we missed a book stack or two. Hey, look at that! Cash in our pockets. Should have checked all this. We didn't check the bathrooms. We got smacked, so we can do that. We're gonna go upstairs and fight a dog. We can do that. That's a big boy. That machine doesn't work, which that'd be good to take apart some forged iron let's uh let's put some more space in between us and them got the workbench schematic already so I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, got one there Not far away at all, that's for sure. There should be somebody hiding in that corner. We'll go around there outside and get on the roof. See if we can kill him before he wakes up. Look at that. Like a charm. So if they break through and get behind us, they will be able to get up. Well, actually, no, they won't because the ladder's too high, so that's good. Got this dickhead making noise. I'll take the XP. Thank you, guys. Didn't even get in the line of fire there. Any sort of danger. Oh, shit, lady! How do you like that bleed damage? Tubby's feral too. Another tubby. Let's get up on the ladder. There's gonna be zombies up here. But if we creep around, 
Maybe able to avoid detection. Probably take out Fatty. 42 arrows. And he's going to tactically reposition. Smart move, my guy. He's feral, so this is going to take a second. Rather not bust out the pistol. We've already got enough zombies pissed. We probably don't need to call them anymore with the dinner bell. We're already put enough into him. We're just going to keep shooting until he dies. Hopefully our arrows will still be there when we're done. There we go. 1,200 XP. Look at that. Thank you, sir. That's right. They're inside the uh, panels that they couldn't break out of for some reason. Doors closed. There should be a dog in there. We'll definitely use our pistol for that. If he's going to be right there in front of the door. Of course not. That'd be too easy, right? Definitely rang the dinner bell on that one. I can hear him. They're super pissed out there now. Another brawler book. All right, structural brace. We should be able to put that in our knife at least, so that'll help that from breaking down as fast. This would be good to put in a helmet if we had one that could accept mods. But our level 1 mining helmet is maxed out right now with the helmet light mod in it. Let's see what else is here first. Okay. Spear Hunter. Not helpful to us this go around. Blueberry seed. We might as well. 10% to humans. And some XP at least. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to this trunk. We're going to put books in it. Oops. The trunk, not the box. Want anything to despawn. It's sitting in a backpack on the floor. Uh, we'll use that. May never end up making one, who knows. Alright. So we've got all this shit that we would try and stuff in our inventory to take home. I want to know why we can't put this in something. If we take the pocket mod out, put the pocket mod this... Then go back to this. 
can do that. That'll open up a slot. Let's stop opening the box. Definitely taking the 762. Let's go ahead and make some more arrows. How many can we make? 81. It's based on feathers. Let's do that to get the feathers out of the inventory. Make usable space. If we scrap those, oh, we'll just keep them in the queue. I don't think anybody's going to want that. That. And that's good enough. So not, of course. Let's use that. There's our bike. Um, I don't know that we're going to make it over there to get our arrows, but... That's simply based on how many zombies are going to be hanging out in this corner. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, our arrows aren't even on the ground anymore, so... Let's go back home and drop this shit off. Alright, so I've got some grilled meat and some murky water cooking in the campfire right now. So one of my biggest concerns is the structural stability of this place. There's not a whole lot of pillars holding up a lot of weight. And if they start falling off of here and getting pissed and start breaking any of these supports, it's going to significantly reduce the ability of this place to stay standing, which is going to be a problem because we're going to be up there. So what I would like to do is I want to try and match this shape and just start adding some extensions to this. If we do this right, we can put them like that and like that. And that. So we can make it not look too terrible, but the higher up we go, then we can reach that and it's going to give them more stuff to have to punch through to break it and also provide us structural stability so it's not cobblestone or concrete but at least it's more hp that they have to break through uh, that's going to be a problem we can't chop i don't really want to chop that because that's kind of helping the stability as well these stairs are kind of in the way but again at least there'll be more for them to chop through so i think if we were to knock that out i think it would be okay that's not really holding up the weight of the building it's just kind of stabilizing it from the side and technically once this goes up that will then be connected to this because it may not visually look like that but it still counts as part of the block so let's go ahead and knock that out Yeah, so technically that's not touching, but it's still occupying the space of that block. It's not like we can build in between it. It's kind of dumb, but I would rather have this actually going up and touching. As long as we don't give the zombies access to be up here, we'll be fine. Just tired of having to worry about falling on my ass over here. We have the parkour skill, but we don't have our skill in our tree, but we don't have any points in it. So that's kind of not helping us. And I don't have any oh shit candy. So I'd rather not fall and die or break my legs. Come on. That's looking okay for now. Let's do this. We're kind of burning daylight here. All right, so now that reaches all the way up. Got a little bit more structure to it. Should land on that. All right. A 
Look at that. Structural stability. So if we do that on at least all the corners and then we surround, I'm going to have to knock those out and do the basically the same thing we just did. Maybe. No, they won't touch because of that. So since that block is centered, we're just going to surround it with those and then go all the way up. So again, we've got more uh, structure there. We are kind of burning daylight a little bit. Let's check on our food and drink. Looks like it's all done. So we have a nice healthy stack of meat and water at our disposal. We have a nice stack of stuff to sell the trader. All right, so we did not open this food bundle that we got yet. Look at that, 10 meat stew, very nice. We're gonna save that for later though. So we did not plan ahead and get a mission from the trader. Unfortunately, we could have already headed out to do that, but we didn't. So we're going to have to go back to him. Wrecked old buddy, old pal. Welcome to Trader Joe's. I don't guarantee a thing, except that I don't like you. Here, I thought he was going to say something nice. Oh, you have a sledgehammer. I don't know about this pipe rifle. I highly doubt we're going to use it, but it is the only thing we have right now that uses 7.62, so that's decent. We're at 3,700. The wrench was now 5,200. I guess the sugar butts wore off. Let's uh, see what kind of job he's got. Hey, look at that. 167 meters. I saw this, and I thought about raiding it before. I think it was on the first day. They already looted their mailbox. So let's start it and then check the mailbox again. Another Spear Hunter book. I don't think I have looted this place before. It is possible. But since I can't remember... Clearly, I'm not going to memorize the POI. Maybe I'll remember something about it. What? Bullshit. There we go. Right, so we got to clear and find supplies. Okay. Sure thing, lady. Hey, buddy. How's that four and a half times damage feel? Is that... I thought I saw somebody in the corner. I guess it's just metal from that door. Very, very sneaky, sir. Here's somebody sleeping. I want you guys to be able to see. Let's do that. Oh. Trying to pull the Zoidberg maneuver on me. They're trapped in the room, so we can deal with Captain Caveman here. He's dead. Oh, shit. They smashed through that quick. And jam up in the doorway. Go ahead. All right. It's fine. I'll take the hit. We don't have healing factor, so that's lame. I saw some books. We did not loot that. And for good reason. And, oh boy. Apparently sneaking is our uh, is also a detriment. Because it doesn't get them to pop out. And then, if we have to start maneuvering, then they're like, surprise, bitch! Hey, bacon and eggs. All right. It's probably even better than grilled meat. So now we just got to keep an eye out for eggs again. Get kashloiseled. Guess we're going back outside. Thank you on the rotten flesh. Hydration's way low. 
We'll drink both of those. Hopefully it doesn't have to make us poop in the middle of the POI, you know? But that's not a feature that we have to deal with in this game. Your guy or girl's tummy gets to rumbling. Really? I was sneaky AF. Get out of here. It's a lot of them at one time. If I could connect, that'd be great. Alright, one dead. Eek! Damn it. Alright. Thank you for the level up. Starting to not be able to know what to put stuff in. And we can't do that. Sneaking. I think we should start probably putting points into parkour. I know this first one's stupid because it reduces fall damage, but the next one lets us start jumping higher. And that's kind of what this series is about. We're supposed to be agile like a, uh, a gazelle and leaping onto stuff and over things. Some trash. That's not helpful. There's no hatch. I have a feeling there's probably not anything in here. Okay, yep. Whatever's in there is not worth. Alright. Try to craft it. Thanks. What are we missing here? Buddy. Perfect angle for that. Get our arrow back. Damn it. Damn, she landed that perfectly. Somebody hold up the little 10 sign. Not just because she's a 10. I mean, she's an apocalypse 10. Let's get real. Like a desert princess, you know? Those of you that know, you know. Alright. Okay. Somebody coming up to greet us? Is this what's happening here? Maybe. He's figuring out how ladders work. Maybe we can close that on his head. <laughs> how are you, uh... Defying gravity, my guy. All right, the area's cleared. Oh, fuck, we didn't get the supplies. Why do, we, why do we keep doing this? How do we keep doing this? Where are the supplies? It says they're up. How is that helpful? They're up there? Yep, there they are. How the fuck do you expect us to get that? Yeet! Nope. Not like that. I know how we're gonna do it. Oops. Come on. Alright, so we got returned to trader status, but we have not checked out this down below. It says it's clear. Oh, look at that. The loot is right here. Uh, an actual helmet. That's good. It is heavy armor, but... Can... Always click there instead. I don't know why or when I will learn. 
There we go. Um, just in the interest of not being cheating, I'm going to go ahead and scrap that. And then the seven plastic parts that we get, I'm throwing them on the ground. I could have just thrown the helmet on the ground, but... Whatever. Then we're not gaining any benefit from giving ourselves something. What is this? Sure, why not? Drone medic mode, hey, if we find a drone, it can heal us. Um, oh, a dark at noon. All right, let's go turn this shit into wrecked. Uh, leather gloves, that's light armor, so that's definitely helpful for us. Uh, we don't need that quite yet. Shit, man, I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. Look at that. Not the world's greatest armor, but it's armor nonetheless. Does he buy these garbage bandages? It's good to know. Want this fucking sandwich? No sell price. I would probably buy that either. <laughs> it's just, just someone hands you a sandwich that's got a bite out of it. Hey, you want to buy this? Oh, gross. Uh, we have enough to buy the wrench. Let's see if he's got any sugar butts, which we should have done first. Uh, that's a good thing to get. So, the issue that we're facing, if we buy this wrench, obviously we'll have it to use. We're probably going to find a level 5 immediately after. But we can't build the workbench until we get more forged iron. So we have to go on a hunt for that. And I think we need 25, but we can at least get a workbench and get it put down. We don't have a forge yet. We can make a chem station if we had the parts for it. Um... I really hate to spend this much money on a wrench, but I'm going to do it just for the purposes of having this one to make the workbench. So now we need to justify that purchase by going and getting forged iron. However, the problem is, is we have hit our limit on time for recording, so I am going to have to call this episode here. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel the need to do. If you guys have any constructive criticism or feedback for me, as always, please feel free to let me know anything that I can do to make my videos better for you. Please feel free to tell me. I promise you're not going to hurt my feelings. If you say things like, the video sucks, that doesn't help me. It doesn't let me know what I can do to make it not suck. So tell me what I can do to not suck and actually give you guys some enjoyable content. So I'm going to shut up and get out of here. I hope you guys have a good one. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs>